evening. You are tuned to KGBM Bozeman, Gallatin Valley Community Radio. We're at 95.9 on your FM dial, kgbm.org online. And it is time tonight for the Local Musician Spotlight. We would like to thank our sponsors, SLAM, supporting local artists and musicians. They've got a fundraiser coming up at the Rialto on Saturday night, May 6th. We'd like to thank Colombo's Pizza and Pasta, making fresh sandwiches and pizzas from locally sourced ingredients at the corner of College and 10th. We are in the Tune Factory tonight with Alder. down lazy street when she caught my eye and she told me it all seemed so clear to me it's time to get up off my feet now i was walking down clear blue streets when
Nice. That sounded great. Thank you. <laughs> Pat, Pat's got things dialed in tonight. Let's go, Pat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you guys wanted to introduce yourselves and we'll get started. Sure. Go for it. Yeah, we are Alder the band. Uh, my name is Tom, playing guitar. <laughs> I'm Seth. I'm on lead vocals and on keys as well. I'm Thomas, and uh, I play the bass. And I'm Landon, and I'm laying it down back here on drums. <laughs> yeah. Resigned <laughs> to the back. back <laughs> Resigned <laughs> to the back. <laughs> <laughs> the life As of the always, drummer. Yeah. yeah. Got used to it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I've seen you guys play out maybe at only at the filler two or three times, and uh, always a great time. And uh, um, it seems like you have a, a uh, pretty close relationship with Jazz Cabbage. I think I've seen you playing with them a couple times and mm -hmm. kind of sitting in with the band at, at other shows. And, I mean, Tom... Or, uh, sorry, mm -hmm. Tom is sitting in with Jazz Cabbage all the time, right? <laughs> yeah, a little bit of yeah, crossover. Yeah. Sure. Permanent, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so how long have you guys been together as a band? Oh, Two man. Years. Do some calculations with yeah. that. Three and a half I think, years. yeah, that sounds about right. With I, It was yeah. three years in February for me, but I joined a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've all been friends for uh, since the beginning of college. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess the band kind of formed just gradually over the, the beginning of freshman year and maybe sophomore year is when we officially mm -hmm. yeah, started. Yeah, sophomore that was year was the official start. Yeah. 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 Fall uh, of 2019, yeah. 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 And then Thomas and I and our uh, our former guitar player, Cole, we all actually lived together on Alder <laughs> Court. Oh. The name yeah. Alder. <laughs> or we were end of Alder when we started and mm -hmm. we kind of dropped the end of because it is a little more hip, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Move to the middle of the street instead yeah, of the yeah. end of the cul-de-sac. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. We kind of did the whole left on tenth thing, like <laughs> street name. Direction, yeah. Sort there of you like go. That. Love them. Uh, yeah. That's. Uh, yeah. It's mm -hmm. a good band to kind of pick up some tips from. Oh yeah. yeah. Shout out left on tenth. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, you guys have. Uh, you mentioned that you've got some. You've been working on some recording. You don't have anything out right now, do you? We yeah. do. We have an EP do you? on Spotify. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll be playing a couple songs from that. From the EP? Yeah, yeah two. Mm -hmm. cool. And then we, the song we just played is going to be released soon. Nice. Tom's yeah. been working been some magic. Some, <laughs> some bedroom recording. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. fun process to learn. Uh -huh. I think a couple of years ago that got renamed to COVID, COVID yeah. Studios. Yeah. COVID, <laughs> COVID <laughs> Studios, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, true. So Everybody's <laughs> buying up studio monitors. And yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, if you if you needed an audio interface or a microphone or anything, no. that was uh, it, it was pretty hard to come by <laughs> during sure. those years. So. Oh yeah. Um, well, yeah. I wonder if you guys want to play some more tunes and then we'll chat a little bit. Perfect. Yeah, we got Thank some you. more. Yeah, this next one's an instrumental called Casa del Sol. <laughs>
next up we have a little jingle called Peace of Mind. It's about um, being single and loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night Just find no one by my side Some say that this ain't right That I need somebody for my help But I wake up feeling defined Just me, is that a crime? I ain't the sun but a shirt to shine I don't need nobody for myself Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night Just find no one by my side Some say that this ain't right That I need somebody for my health But I wake up feeling defined Just me, is that a crime? I hate the sun but a shirt to shine I don't really need nobody for myself What do you need to All right. This one's named after our um, old band member, Cole. It's called Cole's the Man. <laughs> we love him. He is the man. <laughs> Shout out Cole Pompey. <laughs> the love you. watching. <laughs> cool.
So all original music so far? Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Um, are there any any bands or musicians that you think of particularly as influences on your sound? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. I mean, we're all wearing well, band shirts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I'm that wearing was our uh, outfit shirt. choice. <laughs> I'm, wear, I'm wearing mine. Yeah. That's Effect's definitely a big one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Corey Wong, guitar tone, and just kind of the energy of their music I, I love. Mm -hmm. Lake uh, Street Dive definitely, too. Yeah. Especially their singer. I love her, and she's... Covering their music is so fun, and it just is like it's a vibe that we I try to embody when I'm singing. Uh, I think I think for me it's the Grateful Dead is probably <laughs> the biggest influence. Nice. Um, <laughs> definitely yeah. a big jam band influence yeah, in our definitely. stuff. Me, me in particular, I'm a huge, huge Goose guy, so try and try and incorporate their sound as much as I can. Do the <laughs> best to try and replicate it, but <laughs> it's a hard job to follow for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it definitely seems like there's uh, <coughs> maybe a couple layers of funk. <laughs> underlaying there for yeah, sure we so. try i'm glad yeah. it's been through <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we try to make music i think that's fun for us to play uh -huh. yeah it's something yeah. that you want to dance along to definitely because uh -huh. it, it's it's the fun part about music for sure I yeah think. i feel like we yeah. all have a pretty unique palette of music that we listen to as True. well too yeah. so that's cool yeah, that we have kind of yeah. influences from different locations as mm -hmm. well so uh -huh. i think that yeah. that shows in our music as well yeah yeah, yeah. And i think that shows sometimes we don't have the most like uniform or homogenous sound like structure our first song was kind of indie and then <laughs> yeah. that one was like pretty funk based and yeah jammy too i don't know yeah but to us, we yeah. just like we love playing that sort of stuff so we're not gonna like pigeonhole ourselves yeah just, just pick one pick one stuff. thing and yeah. stick there yeah. well i think your listeners are this listener in particular appreciates that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> i like keep i like thing when things get mixed up a little bit <laughs> yeah. and, uh, totally. we keep do too Keeps keeps you on your toes when you're listening, and I'm sure when you're playing too. So. Oh, totally. <laughs> that's, that's the big part. Totally. So how does the how does the songwriting process work with the band? Um, oh man, it really varies. Yeah. A lot varies. of the time, Tom's like our biggest creative, I would say, in the Definitely. band. He's yeah. kind of like lately he quit his job and he's been just like mixing <laughs> in his room. So <laughs> like a lot of the songs we have oh, that are originals okay. are just like start from our lick that Tom does. Yeah. And uh, then we develop a chord structure from there and then li write lyrics. Yeah. So. And and we did have one where Seth came to to us with lyrics and then we developed the chords. And the that was peace of mind, actually. No. Uh, that's Wrote that's that one in Winco. <laughs> for, for us, at least. Yeah. It yeah. usually starts with uh, starts with l licks and stuff yeah, and, and then works up from yeah. there. Yeah. Totally. totally. Yeah. I mean Although it went surprisingly fast when it came with lyrics. Yeah. 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 I mean, some of our songs uh, we like have asked other friends to write lyrics for too, because you know, try and get it out there. We like to help have the community in on yeah. it too. Yeah. <laughs> Chip the friends in. and everything. Uh, yeah. We're not all the best uh, writers or <laughs> <laughs> lyric writers. Writing so. lyrics is so hard. <laughs> it's <yeah>. so hard. <laughs> I'll stick to the guitar. Yeah, it seems like it's a whole. Yeah, kind of a, a different different part of the brain maybe right, than yeah. the music yeah. part yeah. right totally. yeah. and i feel like i don't know for me it feels like more vulnerable just like having to like put something out there into words you know it's like yeah. it takes a bit of a leap of faith to think people won't judge you for what you're saying <laughs> you know? yeah or your rhymes that you're making whether they're cliche or not <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's an interesting thing i think when i listen to instrumental music i think you're right it in some ways you're um People listening to just the music, uh, they're less likely to to attach. You know, there's they attach the meaning to it in some way instead of having to like accept what you're Saying. giving them, and then mm -hmm. maybe you know maybe interpreting a little bit. But uh, right. on the other hand, I kind of wonder if with instrumental stuff, if if people that write instrumental music maybe sometimes have an idea of what the song's about. You know, it's like, oh, I wrote this song. I saw this thing or I felt this thing, so I wrote this song about it. And then people listen to it and it's like, yeah, <laughs> they come up with something that's right? like completely yeah. different. It's like, you know, uh -huh. nothing, nowhere even close. Mm -hmm. And with with songs with lyrics, it's it's hard to get too far afield from what you, what the intent right. of the yeah. composer yeah. was. So Oh, totally. Yeah. 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 Um, seems like that's kind of a, a kind of double edged sword there. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not really maybe. I guess it depends on on what your goal is. If your goal is to you know to tell a story, and it and you know it kind of goes somewhere completely different, maybe that maybe that is a little yeah. harder thing to take. But uh, yeah, 
<laughs> so, um, do you guys have you guys have a pretty good mix of instrumentals and and songs with vocals? Yeah, I yeah, I think. Half and half. Is it about a little, little less than half our instrumentals today? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I think we actually started playing more instrumental probably when we first started because we we didn't have Seth, yeah. so mm -hmm. we probably started playing more instrumentals and then definitely. Seth joining definitely increased our catalog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, at it first awesome they had too, like yeah. we had half a set where I would sing with them and then half a set where I didn't. And it was like 10 That's songs right. each. Yeah. And then yeah. we started intermixing. I forgot and, uh, about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was nice when we, we got Seth because, like, I mean, I don't sing at all. Tom loves to sing, but he's maybe a little shy in <laughs> front of people. And so it was nice to be able to play, like, covers, too, that, you know, people like to hear and ones that we want to play ourselves and have someone to sing, too. Mm -hmm. It helps a little bit, for sure. Yeah. We'd never be able to play Dua Lipa without Seth. <laughs> 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 it's yeah. just yeah. like karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, live karaoke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. We were talking a little bit before the show about um, like covers and and playing out and expectations <laughs> and then and all of that stuff. And I mean, um, I like to go see people playing original music, but there's definitely, especially uh, it, covers that get a reinterpretation instead of being like you know the jukebox version. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, totally. Sometimes that can be really fun too, and and yeah. just trying to understand like sometimes the audience it just makes it easier to click with them you know they hear something familiar and you know they'll kind of lock in on that and then maybe maybe you kind of got them in your pocket and you can s steer them off yeah. into yeah. your stuff and get them <laughs> get them hooked on that too yeah, totally. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. good to strike a balance for sure yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely yeah. yeah well if people are just tuning tuning in um man you should have been here half an hour ago really <laughs> but uh if you missed the first half uh good news we're going to play this again on Saturday afternoon at 6, and you can always go to the Loken Productions YouTube channel. It'll be there all the time, and you can watch it whenever you want, so you can not just listen, but watch. And uh, I have to thank Pat Loken for all of this, doing the sound, the audio, doing the video, providing the space, you know, the organizational talents, which I am sadly not bringing very much of <laughs> so i just get to come out here and listen to good music and chat with people so uh many thanks and uh thanks to tuning in f to you f to tuning in to kgbm here tonight on the local musician spotlight and uh let's hear some more from alder Sweet. what do we got next on my mind on my mind all right this one um speaking of songwriting processes they had a instrumental that they've been playing for a really long time and i sat i had christmas break like a couple years ago and wanted to write a song and I had recently had a friend pass away, um, skiing the great one. Her name's Caroline. And so this is dedicated to her. She was a really amazing person, and to know her was to love her. So I hope you enjoy the song.
each other Cause then your friend dies you lose sight of the sun Oh, I try, but I cry Yeah, I cry cause I know that you're gone But I'm done feeling numb Cause Carol's eyes parted the skies She filled our lives like a million fireflies Man, I lose sight of what's good was named after the circle of the original house. <laughs> Alder Circle. Alder Circle. <laughs> I think I actually paused it.
that quieter middle section in there felt like there were uh, more than a couple of Grateful Dead vibes <laughs> rolling around in there. <laughs> yeah, that's our that's our true jam band song. <laughs> yeah. That one's been with us pretty much the whole time we've been a band. I, I think that was one of our. I think that was like the second yeah, song we ever band. made. Yeah. <laughs> pretty crazy. Fun to bring it back. Yeah. 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 Well, we have one more original on the list. We'll play another. Um, this one is titled Stink Stank Funk. <laughs> you probably can guess why. <laughs> okay. Quick little tune break. Yeah, I was <laughs> out on that last song, so I made it a little hard to play. <laughs> Silly strings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seth, do you need to tune your keyboard? Or yeah, let me let me it's twist a few knobs really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I feel high when you hit that beat. And with Thomas on the bass, can't stop my feet. I want to get low with you next to me. So groove your ass on over. So groove your ass on over. Groove your ass on over.
<laughs> you guys didn't look like you had any fun playing that song <laughs> yeah. at all. Yeah, it's so boring. <laughs> yeah. Might toss that song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, you might not make the cut. <laughs> that well one is on Spotify, actually. Is it? So check it out. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of curious. You were talking about the that song you played three songs back. That it, it started out as an instrumental that you added mm -hmm. added some lyrics to. Did that? Uh, was that process of taking a song that was already there and kind of and adding lyrics to it? Was that kind of a different? Did how did the rest of the band were they pretty on board with it or? Yeah, I think well they had been asking me to write lyrics yeah. and they had like a few different instrumental options to write lyrics to, and then that one just like it felt like it had the right vibe for the particular yeah. topic that I was writing about. Um, yeah, so it I, I got asked to write those, and that was the first those lyrics I'd ever written, so was it? it worked Dang. out well. Yeah, um, the first time he sang it, we were just like, "Oh yeah, this is." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thought that worked <laughs> just right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's, it's a fun one. Yeah, definitely glad that I got the privilege to be able to be in this group, so I can try to write lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give it a try. Forced, yeah. forced ri lyric writing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> try to write or have to write or yeah, whatever. give it an <laughs> ultimatum to write. Or uh -huh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I was going to say something about kind of songwriting. I know Tom doesn't take enough credit for this, but some of the times like he, he comes up with these songs and just presents them to us and he's like, yeah. here you guys go. Like I wrote this song. I have this <laughs> idea and like he'll play us something of kind of what he recorded and we're all like, all right, yeah, yeah, we got to do that. That'll like, work. Uh, I think Stink yeah, Stink Funk. These guys take it and run for sure. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well Stink Stink Funk was one of those that he like he kind of wrote it and was like, we should play this, and we we're like, yeah, we should. Yeah. Play <laughs> and then Seth wrote the lyrics again for uh, that, that one was too. It's kind of it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. way easier to write lyrics that one. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll bet. Uh, song. Yeah. Yeah, fun yeah. songs are probably a little, <laughs> little <laughs> less less pressure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's all the originals we were gonna play. So um, yeah, we got a little time if you got a cover. You'd yeah, like to yeah. Do. we got a nice um, uh, cover of a Marvin Gaye tune that we're kind of doing the the Donny Hathaway live version. Uh, great album, mm -hmm. you should check it out. But yeah, yeah. It's that the was. Ed Sheeran version. <laughs> 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 Which one? Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> nice. yeah, yeah, we're not trying better. to get sued. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, this is a really fun version of the song. We ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's see.
just simply because I'm heaven long. You know we've got to find a way to bring some love in here today. Picking lines, picking signs, don't punish me. Credit to Marvin Gaye. Yeah. Yeah. That's like yeah. <laughs> yeah. that is a great version. Uh, yeah, so. so fun. Great chords. Great chords. Yeah. I don't I don't know if I've listened to the Donny Hathaway version. I listened to the Marvin Gaye one not long ago and mm -hmm. I mean I was found myself listening to that and for having a brief moment of despair that it's still so goddamn relevant. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh my god. Uh, you know, I guess that is what it is. We we yeah. don't have the three or four or eight or fifteen hours it would take to like dissect our oh, no. current situation with politics <laughs> and stuff, but oh, yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's a little sad that yeah. it's still relevant. But uh, it is a great song. Yeah, but the reason we learned that one is actually for last weekend we did we played for the Earth Show with human beings. It was like for Earth Day, and it felt pretty relevant, like you're saying. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> um, it was it's, it was a great choice. Yeah. yeah, and a great addition to our <laughs> long fit right covers. in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it fits in well Super with fun to your play. song. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Like the song a lot. It's really fun. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you guys, you've got a show coming up tomorrow night up in Helena, yeah. at Lewis and Clark. We do. Yeah, yeah that's correct. PM, be there. <laughs> be there. <laughs> you know, Helena's not that far. Not too bad. Carpool and head on up. You right. Can, yeah. Are you guys just just you playing? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So couple yeah. two hours of dancing. Couple fun. sets. Yeah. People yeah. Can head up there and and uh, shake their booties. Have a little Heck final yeah. hurrah. Yeah. yeah. Should be a good time. Pizza, drink drinks. some drinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. yeah. We're excited. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the the final chapter. Yeah, that's, so. that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, um, we had a final concert last year because our keyboardist left Austin. We miss you, Austin. Um, <laughs> Love you, Austin. But thought it would be our final concert. Ended up working out so we could keep playing. Um, but this is actually our final concert. Yeah, we can guarantee yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just we finally got old enough to move on. Blowing yeah. it, blowing in the wind. Yeah, yeah. Yep. got jobs yeah. and stuff. Yeah, sadly. Who knows? Maybe we'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you said you've got some some recordings that are gonna start making their way out. Mm -hmm. Hope so. But yeah, uh, hopefully <laughs> within the next few months we're kind of a couple of songs are still in the recording process and um a couple of them are pretty much done and another yeah, another's in the mix. So Yeah. Yeah. So we're getting close. <laughs> yeah. We got some, some new fun. Hopefully some you. artwork coming up too. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Are you thinking of uh kind of releasing them as singles or mm. as an EP or <laughs> undetermined? I think we're gonna do one single. Uh the first song we played, Hazy Street, I think that'll be a single and then the rest will probably just dump into an EP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so kind of yeah. just a digital release. Yeah. 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 As a listener, I think I really appreciate being able to see it for listen to a song go to an album and see a whole uh, list of other songs that are yeah. that person made you know i think it kind of sucks sometimes with stream streaming platforms how they facilitate releases as singles yeah that gets more listens you know but um, yeah albums are just so fun to listen to and eps so mm -hmm. yeah i'm still definitely uh I, i'm old so you know <laughs> <laughs> i uh i still really value the like a cohesive album and, and yeah. trying to trying to glean the way that things fit together and stuff. Right. So mm. totally. doing that part of it too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Listening to stuff front to back is still cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean yeah. yeah. Lando 
nerds out about it all the time. <laughs> like, oh, oh you, you guys heard this album, this album? Like, he, loves yeah. he loves to get it on get that. It, get it, get it. A little bit of a nerd over here. But <laughs> it's all worth it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Being a new music nerd, there's mm-hmm. there's a lot of worse things you can do with your time. <laughs> but if, if the li- there's a listener out there that likes what they hear, um, follow our Instagram. It's at Alder the Band, and we'll be uh, posting when we release the music. Um, and yeah, it'll be on Spotify or any streaming platform you use. Yeah. Cool. And we will be using End of Alder as the as the artist on Spotify because that's what we uh, posted our Started original, original ones one. on. Uh-huh. Yeah. So cool. Exactly. Well, I want to thank you very much for coming in tonight and playing for us. Uh, hope you have a great show tomorrow night and best of luck wherever things may take you down the road. Thank you, thank thank you, you so much for having thank us, Pat, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Pat, and thanks, thank you, Pat. There. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Locking it down behind Go, the uh, Yeah, subscribe to the Local Productions YouTube channel. Yeah, let's mm-hmm. see it's, on the, it's on the brink of a thousand. <laughs> so, so close. close. Yeah. <laughs> Talking to you, Mom. Get thank it to you. a thousand. <laughs> <laughs>